Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to this week's Pajama Story Time. I have a little bit of a longer story for you tonight, so we're just going to do the story and the silly lullaby, but I think you will find this a very fun story. This is The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors, and this is by Drew Daywalt, the same person who wrote The, the Day the Crayons Quit. Pictures are by Adam Rex. Do you know the game Rock, Paper, Scissors? If not, you're going to learn from this book. That's how I learned, honestly. I used to play it a lot when I was a kid, but I think my brother used to always change the rules as to which one really beat the other one, so I never really got it straight. But this book helped me figure it out. And at the end, I'll show you real quick how to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, and then we'll do our silly lullaby. Ready? The Legend of Rock. Paper, scissors. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man! I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior! Rock versus Clothespin. Brrrr! Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Ah, oh, I am smooshed. And yet smooshing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of backyard still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of mom's home office, on lonely and windswept Desk Mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land, the half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddie. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She, too, was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. 
I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kingdom, kitchen realm to the fridge wastes of the, to the frigid wastes of refrigerator freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet, dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. I have come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our childish pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait! No, they don't! Scissors is victorious again! I am so good that not even dinosaurs shaped like chicken nuggets can beat me! And so Scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of two-car garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I'm wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus scissors. Who do you think's gonna win? Who do you think's gonna win? Rock or scissors? Take a guess. Rock versus scissors. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. Who do you think's gonna win? Who do you think can win, rock or paper? What do you think? Paper is victorious. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. That one's a pretty easy guess, I think. You put up scissors and paper, right? Ha ha! You beat me! Scissors cut the paper. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I told you that was a little longer, but definitely worth it, right? Okay. So look at this last page, rock, paper, scissors. This is how you play. Rock, paper, scissors. And what you do is you and an opponent start out like this and you go rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot. And you each put up one of the three warriors, either rock, paper, or scissors. So we go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, were you paper? If you were paper, I beat you. If you were rock, <clears throat> you beat me. 
So you and someone you know can now duel rock, paper, scissors all day long in the classroom, in the playground, at home, whenever. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Did I beat you? Yeah. Probably wouldn't tell me anyway, right? right? Well. Oh, let's grab our snuggle buddies for our silly lullaby. This can be your stuffed animal. It can be your blanket, your pillow, your sibling, your grown up, your pet, if you squeeze gently. Or just give yourself a big hug for our silly lullaby from Sandra Boynton. Thank you, Sandra Boynton, for giving me this wonderful song. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitsy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, it's time to say achoo. Sneeze into your elbow. The chicken's in the bathtub, the closet full of sheep. The sneakers in the freezer are drifting off to sleep. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitsy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, the owl was whispering moo. And with that, we say good night. And thank you so much for joining me for Pajama Storytime. I hope to see you in the library soon. Come check out some books. There's still a few weeks left of our summer reading challenge, so there's still time to win badges and books. See you soon. Bye for now.